I'll be so glad when, oh, when, when the sun go down. When the sun go down, I'll be so glad when, uh-huh. when the sun go down. When the sun go down. And Mammy was portrayed as an overweight, older, dark-skinned African-American woman. Oftentimes, she was a caregiver, maternal, non-threatening, obedient, and very submissive. She was a woman who worked in a white family and was the nurse of the family's children. This dates back to the slavery era in the United States. The African-American Mammy slave was shown opposite to the Jezebel stereotype. Her dress was always neat and clean, suitable for domestic work, always seen wearing a bonnet or headscarf reflecting ownership. Other characteristics included being large, a huge round smiling face, soothing voice, devoted to whites, large breasts, desexualized and sometimes hostile towards men. Mammy was the only one female slave that could act this way. She wasn't necessarily literate, but she had enough experience to raise the children and was educated by experiencing conflicts. If she wasn't attending to her master's needs, she was with her husband and children in the cabin. She worked long hours and the duties were not as strenuous as other slaves and was never up for sale. Oddly enough, Mammy was considered part of the family and was included in the inner circle. Yes, Lord, got to get out that old line and board. Fix them up for the jets to wear. Is you a hand or is you ain't? Hi, Aunt Dilsey. You stay here. Us is going to kill the half stepness rooster in the yard and a great big bowl of milk gravy and grits. And waffles? Don't you worry now, honey. You was home now. Miss Rose. Mammy characters were a staple of minstrel shows. This gave rise to show tunes done in Al Josen's My Mammy from The Jazz Singer. Hattie McDowell won an Oscar for her performance as Mammy and Gone with the Wind in 1939. Just like the Mammy figure Aunt Chloe in Harriet Bleacher Stowe's Uncle Thomas Cabin, published in 1852, her work created a profound effect on attitudes towards African Americans during slavery. The book popularized the stereotype of the dark-skinned Mammy. And your mama had also gone through several makeovers. While appearing on TV in pancake boxes, Mammy would sometimes be seen with her head rag off and her complexion became lighter. Esther Rose played a Mammy in the TV sitcom Maud. Other TV series featured Mammy such as That's My Mama, Give Me a Break, and What's Happening. In the book entitled Mammy by the author Kimberly Wallace Sanders, she stated, These depictions of African American mothers are consistent with those popularized through literature, travel narratives, and religious propaganda between 1820 and the 1850s. Before the phenomenal success of Uncle Tom's Cabin, pro-slavery authors used images of slave women with a white child as a symbol of racial harmony within the slave system. Got the matter, baby. Oh, yeah, I can't see you. Well, I can't see. You. Oh, what got the matter, baby? Oh, yeah, I can't see. You. Well, I can't see. You. No deciding that the driver's boat uh-huh. is down on me. Put it down on me. No deciding that the driver's boat is uh-huh. down. Your corner, man. Uh-huh. Right, I chop my. Yeah, I chop my. Just chop your.